Let's talk about the setup checklist. Here, Peachtree brought us to the setup checklist after we completed the new company setup wizard. You'll notice that some of these items are already checked, and that's because Peachtree covered these items with us during the new company setup. However, even though they're checked, we can still go back into them. Let's go into our chart of accounts. Here, we're in the account ID field. Once again, anytime you're in a field that has a magnifying glass to the right of it, such as this one, that means there's a list underneath that field. To pull up that list, you can do one of two things. You can hold down your shift key and hit the question mark key at the same time. That pulls up this list. Or you can always click on the magnifying glass. Now we can scroll through and see our entire chart of accounts. If we wanted to edit this chart of accounts, change names, or add accounts, now would be a good time to do that. General ledger defaults, that's already checked as well. Let's look at account beginning balances. Here, it wants us to know for what period are we going to enter our account beginning balances. Let's grab the scroll bar and go down all the way to the bottom. You can see it takes us all the way up to December 31st of 03. Let's say that we're going to begin using Peachtree in January 1 of 2002. So that means we're going to want to set up beginning balances here for January of 2002. This brings us to our chart of accounts beginning balances window. We can now go down this list and enter our entire chart of accounts. Notice Peachtree is going to track our debits and credits for us. And it's going to post any difference to beginning balance equity. You may want to consult with your accountant or CPA to get some assistance with this step. We've closed out of this field and Peachtree wants to know do we want to mark this step complete? We're going to say no because we have not entered our numbers yet. Let's look at the accounts payable. Here, let's go to vendor records. Here's our database for our vendors. This is where we would set up all of our vendors. Now, if you have this vendor list in some format, you may be able to enter that format and enter that list electronically by importing it into Peachtree. To show you this briefly, let's close the setup checklist window. Come under the file pull down menu and come down here to select import export. This is an advanced feature. You'll want to be very computer literate to do an import into Peachtree. If we wanted to import a database of our vendors, we'd come here to accounts payable, choose vendor list, and choose import. Peachtree then asks us the format of the file. We're going to click click show none and let's say that we're just going to bring in a vendor ID, name, and address information. And we have this file in a what's called a CSV format. We then tell Peachtree where that file is on our C drive. And we click on OK and Peachtree will import that file for us. This saves a lot of time if you have a large database that needs to be entered into Peachtree. Let's go back to the setup checklist. Now let's look at vendor beginning balances. If we're a, an existing company transitioning to Peachtree, we're going to have balances with our vendors that we're going to want to input. Here Peachtree tells us you must set up vendor records 
before you can establish vendor beginning balances. We don't have any vendor records here yet, and so Peachtree is prompting us to put those in. Next, customer records. Down here, this is the same as vendor records except for customers. Once again, you can import this information electronically, or you can manually put in all of your customers. Down here is payroll information, employee defaults. Let's follow the employee payroll setup wizard just briefly here. 2002, the state we're in, if we have an unemployment percentage for our company, we would set that up here. Do we record employee meals and tips? No. What are our default accounts for gross pay, tax liabilities, and tax expenses? If we needed to change either one of these, simply click on the magnifying glass, and this takes you to your chart of accounts, where you can then select the proper account. Here, it wants to know our currently installed version of the tax table. If we need to update the tax table, we would do that here. If we offer a 401k plan, we would select that. Vacation time, sick time, and a payroll field preview. This payroll setup wizard is covered in detail in the payroll section of the training series. Please refer to that section before setting up payroll. And now we have completed our payroll setup. This takes us immediately to employee defaults, which is the next item in the setup checklist. Here we'd set up our employee defaults, such as pay levels and any additional withholdings that we did not disclose during the payroll setup wizard. Once again, this is covered in detail in the payroll section. Now we're all the way down to inventory. Here we'll want to set up our inventory items and any assemblies that we have. Setting up inventory items can be complex, so please refer to the inventory section of the training video series before setting these up. And then here we set up our inventory beginning balances, which is quantities and values. And lastly, our jobs. If we have any jobs that are presently outstanding, we'd set up those jobs here. And then any beginning balances we have for those jobs. So you can see the setup checklist covers a variety of areas. And if you're brand new to Peachtree, you'll want to refer to the training series on these areas as you're setting up your new company.